Good afternoon, everyone. Isn't this a gorgeous day in Boone? Madam President, I want you to know that every day looks like this in Boone, North Carolina. Um, the crowd will attest that that's not always the case. Um, welcome. I am Appalachian State University Chancellor Sherry Everts, and I am so delighted to welcome you to the Leon Levine Hall of Health Sciences, the new home for our Beaver College of Health Sciences. This is a momentous occasion for Appalachian State. We now have a permanent home for 14 of the 16 programs in the college, the Wake Forest Physician Assistant Program, and the Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina Institute for Health and Human Services. A state-of-the-art facility that allows for interdisciplinary and cross-disciplinary collaboration and research in a location that facilitates a continued collaboration and partnership between Appalachian State University and the Appalachian Regional Healthcare System. As you walk the halls of this 203,000 square foot building, the largest in Appalachian State's history, you will find high-tech classrooms and laboratories designed for collaboration and problem-based learning, faculty offices, an information commons and gallery, and a student leadership and success center. But best of all, you can, on any given day, find a vibrant atmosphere filled with students, faculty, and staff excited to be learning, teaching, and conducting research in this beautiful space. Here, we are preparing well-educated and highly qualified professionals to improve the physical, emotional, and social health of the citizens of the state of North Carolina. A building of this magnitude requires years of planning, development, and construction by scores of people, many of whom are here today. I must begin by acknowledging that those of us who were fortunate to see this project to a completion are doing so because of the leadership of Appalachian's prior chancellor, Ken Peacock, and the founding dean of the Beaver College of Health Sciences, Fred Witt. Please join me in thanking them. And Don and Vicki Beaver are here. They and the Beaver Family Foundation made a leadership gift in 2015 to support the College of Health Sciences, which now bears their name. We must thank Don, a two-time Appalachian graduate who has a successful career in the healthcare industry for his service to Appalachian, Don's also a board of trustee member, and generous financial support to the College of Health Sciences. Please join me in thanking the Beavers. Thank you. Thank you, Don. I would also like to recognize Appalachian Regional Healthcare System former CEO Richard Sparks, also an Appalachian alumnus, and current CEO Chuck Mantooth, and the Appalachian Regional Healthcare System Board of Trustees, who have partnered with us through more than 10 years of planning, who made it possible for this building to be located here with a generous donation of the land on which this building sits. We value the long-standing partnership between our two institutions. Of course, the architects, LS3P Associates, and Rogers Builders, I understand Pat Rogers is here. Pat, can you wave at me? Thank you so much, Pat, for being here. And if you weren't here last night, you don't know, the Pat spent the last day before they turned the keys over to us working in the building all day. Thank you. I want to recognize their efforts for delivering this remarkable project on time and on budget, Representative. I thought you might want to hear that. <laughs> This was the first project funded by the Connect NC Bond Project and the first to be completed. And we are especially grateful to the citizens of North Carolina for helping us fund this project. When voters approved this project in 2016, they entrusted Appalachian with a significant responsibility. And we are so pleased to be able to rise to this challenge by facilitating a response to the critical healthcare needs in the rural areas of our state. 
I also want to thank Leon Levine and the Leon Levine Foundation for the $5 million grant they provided toward this project. We are proud this building bears the Leon Levine Hall of Health Sciences name, and we are pleased to have the executive director of the foundation, Tom Lawrence, with us today. You'll be hearing from Tom shortly, but let's show our appreciation to him now for this investment in the future of healthcare in North Carolina. Also joining us from the members of the General Assembly, distinguished Appalachian alum, Representative Nelson Dollar. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Senator Deanna Ballard, the front row. Thank you, Senator. And Representative Jonathan Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us. And now it is my honor to welcome University of North Carolina System President Margaret Spellings. Margaret and I were talking before we came up and she mentioned, I think, so one of my early months here, I was here for the groundbreaking of this building. So we are delighted with the help of Margaret and the entire staff of the UNC System Office who worked tirelessly to get the Connect NC Bond referendum passed. We're honored to have her here with us today to see firsthand the fruits of that labor. So let's show her our appreciation. Margaret, welcome to Appalachian. Welcome back, you mean. Uh, thank you, Sherry. I love what you've done with the place. And thank you for your leadership. I know it's uh, untoward to, to recognize yourself, and you list a lot of folks, but you deserve a lot of credit for uh, your stewardship over these last months and years. I am thrilled to be here on this incredibly beautiful day for the Levine Hall ribbon cutting. This is a big moment for Appalachian State, obviously, but it's also a big moment for the NC, UNC system and for our state at large. As Sherry said, it is the first Connect NC funded bond project, which showed the depth of support for higher education in this state, something that has long distinguished North Carolina. By a two to one margin, as has been said, North Carolinians gave a massive vote of support for their university system. They made it clear that this state still has the appetite for the kinds of investments that have made the UNC system one of the strongest in the nation. And I thank the folks on this stage who've made that possible uh, and in the legislature broadly. Levine Hall and the big investments like it aren't done with the next five or 10 years in mind. They're done with the next 30 or 50 years in mind. It's what's enabled us to be the economic driver of this state for the past half century and beyond. And because North Carolina continues to invest in us, we are going to be able to keep powering our economy and keep empowering the citizens of this state through all our good works, but especially in this instance, improved health care. I know the Chancellor is rightly proud and excited for what this building means and will bring to this campus. By centering its College of Health Sciences in one place, it will accelerate Appalachian State's ability to prepare the next generation of health care providers, those that we so sorely need. By strengthening the partnerships this institution has with the regional health care system, it ensures graduates aren't just prepared to be knowledgeable in the classroom, but that they're ready to make a difference with patients on day one and on the job. And by creating collaborative classrooms and state-of-the-art research facilities that drive undergraduate research, something that this institution is so famous for and so proud of, those experiential learning opportunities, Levine Hall will be the space that Appalachian State and the Beaver College of Health Sciences needs, not just for this year, but for many years and decades to come. I am grateful to know this entire community is to the generosity of the Levine family and the Levine Foundation for their financial support and deep commitment to higher education in this state. The impact of their giving, giving is transformational for our institutions and it's fitting that this building bears the Levine name. And I'm grateful to the Appalachian Regional Healthcare System for their contribution that they made this project possible. It's a contribution that shows ARHS knows that investing in the next generation of leaders not only makes good business sense, but it's an investment in the community that will pay dividends for a long time to come. 
But above all, I'm grateful for the foresight of state leaders to push the Connect NC bond package and the confidence that North Carolina voters placed in our ability as a university to make that investment count. And I'm proud to be here as we take a big step forward in converting on that bet that voters made on us. I know Appala Appalachian State and all of those who study at Levine Hall will continue paying back the North Carolinians who invested in them with their impact and accomplishments for years to come. I'm now pleased to turn to Tom Lawrence, Executive Director of the Levine Foundation, to say a few words. Tom. Good afternoon. I'm Tom Lawrence, Executive Director of the Leon Levine Foundation. Leon and Sandra Levine wish they could have joined us today, but they asked me to pass their best regards and their excitement to have been part of this tremendous project. It's an honor for me to be here today with you celebrating this beautiful new building. But I think we're here celebrating so much more than just the bricks and mortar. When most of us think about Appalachia, one of the first images that comes to mind is mountains, and with good reason. But did you know part of the dictionary's definition defines a mountain range as a region characterized by remoteness and inaccessibility? Remoteness and inaccessibility. Entire communities have needs that can go unmet simply because they call the remote mountains of Appalachia home. Of these needs, we know that healthcare is one of the most critical and one of the most inaccessible. But it was because of this obstacle that the visionary leaders of App State, guided by Chancellor Sherry Everts and her dedicated board, said it's time to build a state-of-the-art teaching and research facility that is focused on first-class health care. And it's because of this obstacle that the paths of the Leon Levine Foundation and the Beaver College of Health Sciences had the opportunity to intersect. As a top regional public university in the South, ASU is committed to giving its students life-changing educational experiences. Because ASU has formed partnerships with systems of health throughout North Carolina, the Beaver College of Health Sciences is improving access to care for underserved rural populations and establishing a culture of wellness. The Leon Levine Foundation is proud to play a part in these efforts. Making health care more readily available for those with limited access is core to our mission. And we're delighted that the Leon Levine Hall of Health Sciences will serve as a space for bright, energized students where they will convene during their time at ASU. Students with a passion for this field finally have a place to call their own as they help create a responsive clinical and community approach to rural health care. From our team at the Leon Levine Foundation, congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. Can I freelance or do I have to stick with my notes? Uh, hold on a minute, in case mom's watching TV this afternoon. It is without a doubt the only way possible that I could end up on this stage and working every day with the two great legislators we have here and the third here in this group of educators was because of Appalachian State University that a poor, dumb country boy from Rutherford County could end up coming back and actually standing before you. Okay, I'm gonna get on with this. I just had to say that. And if, <laughs> if Chancellor Thomas is here, I always have to throw this in. And about this time in 1987, he said, this is the last time and the last chance I'm giving you. If he's here, Chancellor, thank you one last time for that seventh chance that you gave me. My name's Philip Byers and I bring greetings from the University of North Carolina Board of Governors. I work for 
these folks, I guess is how this goes. Today is indeed an incredible day for the UNC system. I am pleased and proud that Appalachian is opening the first project funded by the Connect NC bond passed by the voters in 2016. This building symbolizes an important step in the future of this state, and this day would not have been possible without the incredible work of the North Carolina General Assembly and the leadership of our appropriations chair and Appalachian alum. We were arguing back and forth earlier, did we really graduate, either one of us? He said yes. But it is an honor to present to you and to welcome back to Boone my friend and our appropriations chair in the North Carolina legislature, Representative Nelson Dollar. Thank you, Philip. I, I graduated twice just to make sure that I, that I had it. Um, I do bring uh, greetings from the North Carolina General Assembly, uh, Madam President, uh, Madam Chancellor. Uh, appreciate the uh, Levine Foundation and, and what, they have, what they have done. Uh, Mr. President, which I believe will speak here shortly, and, uh, and Philip and Dean and everybody. Um, <laughs> I, too, want to extend my thanks to my colleagues, uh, Senator uh, Ballard and uh, former Senator Suchek, who was with us, as I'll mention in a moment, in terms of getting the original planning money. And, of course, uh, my dear colleague, uh, Representative Jonathan Jordan, who has prodded us on this process for, for a number of years and has been right there working with us on it. And let me say this, that... Uh, the reason why this project is the first to be completed, one of the reasons is because, as, as mentioned earlier, uh, Chancellor Peacock brought a vision uh, down to the General Assembly, and of course he shared it with everybody, uh, about the School of Health Sciences, and, um, and Mr. Beaver and your family cannot thank you enough for all of your investment uh, in this and your leadership in, in the broader healthcare field. Uh, in North Carolina in this country and that's greatly appreciated and I remember coming up here for one visit and seeing you know the flat concrete slab that had been Lowe's and you know everybody saying you've got to envision what's going to be here and uh, so this is magnificent you know from what it was to what it is today and I think it's wonderful and I'm very pleased that we were able to twist arms and to do all the sausage making in the General Assembly process to get those early planning dollars in place to be able to facilitate uh, the vision that you here in the Appalachian community had for this. And it's a vision not simply for a building, but providing professionals, medical and healthcare professionals uh, who are needed right here in this community, in these mountains, but all across North Carolina, all across the spectrum. There is no question, and I know everybody's um, heart, I'm sure, is a little bit heavy. We're in this beautiful sunshine, uh, but we've got a lot of our citizens, as you know, who are suffering right now uh, with the aftermath of Hurricane um, Florence. And um, I'm, as soon as I finish here, we've got conference calls. We're going to have a session. We're we're going to be working to make sure that they have the resources that, that they need to begin the recovery process. And I, and I know, uh, Madam President, I know you've been working with uh, Fayetteville State and uh, Pembroke, UNC Pembroke, as well as UNC Wilmington, your sister institutions. And I know there's been offers from Appalachian State to assist them in hurricane recovery and what's going to happen with their students. And that is greatly appreciated. And I appreciate everybody's... Uh, a willingness to chip in uh, and, and help, um, help those citizens because they're in a, in a very difficult place. But one of the things that ties this together in my mind is I can assure you, in fact, I know today that there are healthcare professionals that have graduated from the program here at Appalachian State. There are other Appalachian grads who are on the ground this very moment uh, helping with the rescue, the recovery, the rebuilding process as we get into that. So I think you can be proud of that. And that's what it's really about is, uh, as was mentioned just, I guess Tom mentioned just a moment ago, he talked about uh, bricks and mortar. And it is truly more than bricks and mortar and glass and steel. What's important are those young people, those students, I know some of them are here, uh, that are gonna be coming out 
of this building. They're going to be coming out ready to take health care in this state to the next level. They're going to be leaders. Uh, they're going to be in all the various fields uh, of health care, uh, making a difference uh, with their individual patients, uh, all the way up to population health, and, and uh, I'm sure a number of them will be involved with the policy as well. So again, uh, it's just wonderful to be here uh, on behalf of all of the members of the General Assembly uh, to have been able to be uh, a part of uh, prov providing the resources of this state that the good citizens entrust to us uh, to this project that's going to provide dividends uh, for our state for many, many years to come and it's going to make a difference in so many lives today and far, far into the future. Thank you very much. Hello. It is very warm out here, and I was told I have 30 seconds, so <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it a little brief. But um, the, the purpose of me being out here is to really talk about the impact this has on students um, and to express my thanks. So first, thank you all for being here. Thank you to our representatives for being here, President Spellings, our chancellor, the foundation, and everyone. We really appreciate it. And I kind of wanted to take a few seconds to tell you I guess the experience I had when I walked in with Bridget yesterday. You know, we walked in, we pulled up right here, and we look at the building and we go, wow, is this Appalachian? You know, this building looks phenomenal. And we go inside and we're like, wow, we can have a meeting here and we can have this club go there and just so many things. And I'm a business major, but I'll probably be over here <laughs> because this place <laughs> looks so amazing. And when you think about the 2,500 students that are already being serviced over here and the, the impact on their experiences being in this building, it's going to be incredible. So you think about their experience at Appalachian and then how they're being prepared to go into the community is really amazing. And so I just wanted to say again, thank you on behalf of all the students. We appreciate the hard work, the donations, the gifts, and just everything that you all have done to make this what it is. Um, and, and that is all. Have a great day. Good afternoon. I'm Darrell Kruger, Provost and Executive Vice Chancellor, and I bring you greetings from the faculty and academic administrators at Appalachian. As I stand here today, I'm reminded of the words of American architect, interior designer, writer and educator, Frank Lloyd Wright, who said, quote, the space within becomes the reality of the building, unquote. This space and what is within it is a, is a vibrant with excitement of faculty and students who want to teach and learn innovative ways to improve the health and well-being of others. As you have heard, there are so many who deserve our thanks for the fact that we are standing here at this moment ready to cut the ribbon on this exceptional building. I would like to take a moment to add my thanks to Chancellor Everett's, Appalachian's Board of Trustees, and to President Spellings and the UN System Board of Governors for your guidance and support for this project. To the many other, other board members and volunteer leaders in attendance today, to the citizens and leadership of Watauga County and the town of Boone for their support as we completed this building and as we expand a key element of our campus to this new location and also to the many faculty and staff who have been part of the planning and moving process. It has been an incredible team effort to come from plans on paper to stand in here today, and I appreciate all of the logistical work undertaken by our faculty and staff to get here. And finally, thank you everyone in attendance today for sharing in this significant day in the history of Appalachian. After we cut the ribbon, please feel free to take self-guided tours of the building to see the state-of-the-art labs and classrooms within. We have provided some printed guides to assist you and faculty and students throughout the building to provide additional explanations at stops along the way. 
I am now very honored to ask Governor Philip Byers, Representative Dollar, Don and Vicky Beaver, Chair Barnes, Chuck Mantooth, and Dean Marie Huff to join us for the official cutting of the ribbon on the Levine Hall of Health Sciences. Thank you.